Hey guys, tonight we're going snowmobiling. Let's go, let's go, come on. It's an exciting video, let's go watch it. And by high performance, I mean this is my first time and I fall over uh, quite a few times. Okay, so we're meeting up with some family today to do something I haven't ever done before. My dad normally comes out west to go skiing, but man am I bad at that. And it just destroys your leg muscles. And you know your boy has been skipping leg day at the gym since like circa 2014. This time though, he suggested snowmobiling since his friend is coming with us. And I jumped on that. I've been skiing and snowboarding before, but I've never been out on a snowmobile, so you know, you gotta check those off the bucket list. I heard they're a lot like jet skis, but in the snow. I also figured I wouldn't have a sore body like after I would with skiing. <laughs> uh, what an insane assumption that was. Heading over to Unita National Forest, more specifically, uh, Daniel Summit Lodge Snowmobile Trail. It's about an hour east of Salt Lake City, or just like 30 or 45 minutes from Park City. Oh, we saw these weird looking bike mobile things. Uh, I didn't have my camera out, but I found some footage on them. It's actually called the Snow Bike, and the specific brand was a timber sled, I think. It's basically a kit you put on your dirt bike. It, it seems like similarly expensive to a regular snowmobile, but more tiny. And some of the uh, footage I saw online was like really cool. They look like little motorcycles. Like th those things are pretty cool. Make sure your key is turned to the run position. Grasp the pull cord with two hands. One quick pulling motion should start the machine. Use this. And I quickly figured out that this setup wasn't really going to work. I really should have uh, gone some sort of GoPro for these sorts of things, or get that cool 360 degree camera Hobotech had. I attached the Gorillapod to the handlebars, but you can see it's riding like a bucking Bronco, e even with stabilization. And then of course you can see the camera fall down, it's <laughs> so excellent. All right, so we're like, I don't know, 40% through the trail. As you can see some of the stuff in the back back here, we're going through the back roads. Uh, let's see, I've run off course once, I've gotten stuck once, um, and it feels like my forearms are about to explode because you, you grip it so tightly, and there's no seatbelts, so you're sitting there and you're holding on for dear life, and it's also like holding on to a bucking Bronco because the snow here is like, it's like, oh, you're just, oh. It's crazy. It's nothing like ATVs. It's it's absolutely crazy. Imagine like a jet ski, but you're hitting every white water rapid that you go through. All right, let's go and uh, I tried to set up the tripod to get uh, pictures while I was driving. You, you'll see some of that, but it's just so bumpy and I don't have a good connect. What I need is a GoPro on the helmet, but uh, you know, it's kind of a last minute thing. So you've got your dashboard here, it'll tell you your RPMs and your miles per hour. You've got your kill switch for the ignition. This one doesn't have a key in it, it's already just set on. This is your throttle, it's not a twist thing like a motorcycle. You just pull that kind of like a, a bike brake. On the other side you got your bike brake here, parking brake, there's a hand warmer, that's pretty cool. This is a, I think a horn, or no, that's got to be lights, I think that's lights. This is reverse, uh, this is, this has to be lights, I don't know what the other one is in gas tank. Overall, a pretty comfortable ride. Let's go take a look at what's over here. I hope you can hear it with all the wind. snowman down there and it's beautiful the wind is like literally what you get in a stock sound effect like that ooh, ooh, that type of thing beautiful scenery wish you guys were here this is what 
my hair looks like under the helmet. Oh, and it's a mess. See, this would be a great shot for a profile picture if my hair was okay. Here's a handy little uh, photographer's trick to getting still photos of events. You can click the burst picture mode, but even easier is to take just a high quality video clip of the thing and you can get a screenshot of that perfect frame. You don't really have to worry about people blinking or whatever since you'll have so many frames to work with. This is 4K at 60 frames per second and it's like a two minute video. So what's, I don't know, that's a lot of frames. Number two, time suck. Okay. I let everyone go up in front of me to get some of this footage and, and I'll follow them up. <laughs> the funny thing about letting them get out of your line of view. Followed those guys up the hill but then got lost again, so uh... It's always fun to be stranded in the middle of the mountain. Beautiful scenery. We got this. We're gonna go try and find them. Uh, if this never comes out to light, then it's I died in the mountains. Rest in peace, me. We join you live in scene to the uh, crash site. He, we got stuck. Uh, we found this uh, this gentleman, sir. Would you like to be interviewed for Kovac News Nine? Yes. Uh, what are your thoughts on this uh, horrific uh, ski accident? It happens. Yeah, that it does. That it does. Although I think we'll have to bleep that for YouTube, but we'll get something done. Yeah. I tried to lift it with both hands, but it's like really in there. So I gotta wait for cavalry. And we're on the back side of the mountain, and so like nobody's here. It's a uh, this is actually nice snow though. We've been riding on snow that's like really uh, dense and like old and it's like ice. It's like really rough, but this is some nice snow. Oh, there we go. Look at that. They've arrived. All right, there's no GoPro, but we're gonna try something very stupid, I guess, is to, uh, see that's gonna wobble a lot. Maybe I can uh, stabilize and post, but let's give a laugh and find out. And yeah, so like I said, this is kind of stupid, but hey, at least the camera phone stayed there. You know, though we run into some of the same problem, like having severe Parkinson seizures while trying to watch the footage. I mean, I want to leave it in since it's really the only footage I have, and it's a good documentation of the day for me like to go back and reminisce, but really just really too painful to watch. Next time I go outside to do some video, uh, I'm just going to have to invest in a GoPro. How was that? Was that too bumpy? Let's see. <laughs> We'll turn the camera out a little bit, you can get a side shot. Maybe that'll be a better B-roll. <laughs> it's just unwatchable. Hey, I have some deja vu with that clip. Hey guys, tonight we're going snowmobiling. Let's go, let's go, come on. It's an exciting video, let's go watch it. So here's my review of snowmobiling. It's kind of in stages. Stage one was the first 10 minutes. I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm getting the hang of this. It's pretty cool, I'm having fun. Stage two, after 10 minutes. Okay, so my forearms are so freaking sore that there is zero way I can do this for another 10 minutes, let alone two hours. Stage three. Oh man, this snow is like hard packed, but I'm getting the hang of it. I can notice where it's softer and smoother and the ride is nice and this is pretty great. Uh, now we're hitting the ramps, we're going off course and up the hills, all that fun stuff. Okay, so I got stuck two times, but that's par for the course. You know, if you're not falling over, then are you really pushing yourself to try new experiences? I don't think so.
Stage four. Okay, so I'm pretty sure my spine is broken from all of these bumps. The helmet is pushing into my glasses, which is smashing into my nose and like cutting open my face. Uh, this is absolutely miserable. I'm literally dying. Stage five. The home stretch on the way back, I'm taking it easy on the bumps, but getting to open it up in the flat fields to like 40 plus miles an hour is a lot of fun. Very cool. I, I like it when it's flat and when it's soft, because then it's it's really a lot of fun. Stage six is the preceding four days where my forearms and back were so sore, not only did I have to skip the gym, but I could barely walk. <laughs> I My body was not used to that. It was the bumps that really just hammered it into my spine. Uh, it, it was ridiculous. It was an awesome time, though. I, I had a lot of fun. It makes me want to get some type of motorcycle or a motorbike of some sort. Um, just because, you know, you can't go snowmobiling uh, all times of the year. And uh, not, not that I'm going to get one anyway. On the way back, we went to Dairy Keen. And no, I don't mean Dairy Queen. This is a place that's been like a local train-themed burger and shake joint here in Utah since around the 40s. They've got the model trains running through the store and dioramas on the town and stuff. And here's some Harry Potter stuff. It's pretty good stuff. And of course, when you're in Utah, uh, you don't use ketchup for your fries. You use fry sauce, which of course is even better. I think it's like a, just a mix of mayonnaise, ketchup, maybe a little Thousand Island, depending on where you go. I don't know, but it's good. You like it. It's, it's tasty. Choo-choo. We get to watch the train go around the tracks. Right, looking good. Good burger, yeah. Snack pork fries. We got the crazy Einstein look going. Oh man, am I tired? It was a full body workout, even from like just riding it, bouncing up and down, just gripping it, gets your forearms going, and then like crashing and then having to like lift up like however many hundreds of pounds it is, uh, like a deadlift. Whew, I'm tired. It's time to go to sleep. <laughs> and what a sleep it was for several days after like i said uh just absolute sore pain like a full body workout maybe even worse than skiing uh, different muscles definitely my back hurt more with the snowmobiling because i wasn't used to it in the fore the forearms went away because i had been training those in the gym so they were kind of already conditioned but um skiing does your calves and your ankles more than anything in your legs but this was like back so it's a different type of pain <laughs> Uh, thank you for watching. If you want to support my mental health, then go ahead and like and subscribe to this video so that my dopamine can spike up. <laughs> I will catch you guys next time.